Scorpio, it's me, Stormy, and here is your horoscope for January 2018. Welcome to a brand new year. We're getting ready to kick it off, and we're kicking off this month, starting it fresh from the beginning with a moon. And then we've got two other moons. So this is a month of moons, which definitely indicates we've got some shift going on, but I think it's some good shift that we've got going on. <laughs> Before we talk about that, I want to invite you to join me all of 2018 for $3 Thursdays. It's a new feature I've got. It is going to be a live but private teaching session, the third Thursday of every month. I will be teaching about any given astrological concept. Coming up in January on the 18th, we're going to be talking about business timing in astrology. So all you've got to do is grab your chart, come on in, there's going to be question and answer. There's going to be a lot of time to evaluate the way that these aspects actually work to help you see if you're making the best decisions on when to start a business, leave a business, shift a business, um, go for freelance work. What about that? Any of these concepts we're going to be talking about, I'm going to be pointing out the timing that may be suiting you the best. Okay. So click in the description box down below and I look forward to seeing you there. Now, Scorpio, this month you've got lots of beautiful energy in your sign, both Jupiter and Mars, wonderfully in your sign. So this is creating a really nice amount of action and wisdom and opportunity for you. Now, first and foremost, though, let's talk about the first of the month. We've got the full moon happening in Cancer, okay? This is lighting up the ninth house for you. Now, I teach that the ninth house, before anything else, is about faith because in the ninth house we expand we get out there we share a message in some way shape or forms we get ourselves out there and when you do that you've got to have faith right like you you don't know if it's going to work out you just leap it out there and hope to god this thing works out right now, with the full moon landing here in this ninth house, looking for a lot of faith, looking for a lot of expansion for you, it's also making beautiful connections with that Jupiter and Mars that are already in your sign. Plus, it's also touching over here to Neptune, who's in your fifth house. So this is creativity. This is self-expression. This is joy, right? So there's a lot of joy and there's a lot of creativity to whatever it is you're trying to expand out there. But whatever it is, faith is what sits underneath that, okay? Now I will tell you too, it is a great time with the full moon here. Even though the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged, and adjusted, it doesn't mean that everything just falls apart. Maybe what ends is the fact that your book is not out in the market, right? And you go on ahead and you launch it out there and you've got this beautiful new beginning that came with the ending or you see the timing of how to put out your advertising or when to study what to study joining a higher education getting a new licensure um, certification any of those kinds of things whatever it is if you will take the leap this month to get those things in order and get them out there I feel like you really have a lot of cosmic support especially with that Jupiter Mars being there now when we get to the second of the month, we're going to see Uranus coming out of retrograde, moving direct in the sign of Aries, very much so a self energy, what you think about yourself, how you're moving yourself. So you're very much so locked into this kind of energy. Now, when Uranus was retrograde, things from the past, things you believed about yourself, these all came rising to the surface and not all of them were comfortable. And maybe you didn't exactly know what to do with them. With Uranus direct, now we pop out of the rut and we're able to move some energies forward. On the 12th, we see a loaded third house for you, which I think is phenomenal because you've got this energy happening at the beginning of the month in your ninth house, which is also a communication and thinking house. Now the third house having Pluto, Saturn, Venus, and the sun up here, and then on the 12th, welcoming in Mercury, who is a mind and communication planet as well. This helps you see how to communicate what's right for you, what's real for you, What's your business idea? Are you studying something? Are you teaching something? Um, whatever it is, it, are you updating that website? Whatever it is, it helps you communicate it more clearly so that you can push it out into the world. See what I mean? You have a lot of space and a lot of things trying to help shape the way you're communicating so that you can get it from here to here. Now, I will tell you too, with Saturn having just come into this third house for you, the first six months of the Saturn rotation can be really tough sometimes. And I would just tell you, 
if you've got a lot going on, you're feeling the pressure, you're feeling pressure to perform or to produce or to teach something or to study and you feel like it has to look a certain way, please just watch your mouth because you can't take it back after you said it and you don't want to go ruining anything. You've got this beautiful communication energy and because it's beautiful and useful doesn't always mean that it's easy to navigate, especially when you're feeling a lot of pressure. So if you're feeling that pressure, let's find another outlet for it, okay? Now on the 16th, we're gonna have the new moon happening in Capricorn. So this is also in the third house. So new things, new beginnings. Here you go, plant those seeds, plant those actions so you can watch over the next month how they lead you in the direction of where you're trying to go. I really feel like there's something about you, Scorpio, that you're trying to expand out into the world. Plus Jupiter is in your sign and Jupiter says, yes, I want you to expand, but I want you to expand out, get out into the world. So in some way you have an idea, a vision, a something, and I think you're trying to put it out into the world or to put it out into your little world so that you can experience something different. And I really like that for you. Now on the 18th, we've got Venus coming into Aquarius. On the 21st, we've got the sun coming into Aquarius. Everything lighting up, bringing harmony to your home space, home, family, real estate, property, um, your past, things with women, um, all of those things start to get a sense of magnet, magnetism, magnetism, harmony, beauty, maybe even you're changing up your living space, right? But the sun and Venus together, that's beauty and essence and life and harmony. So this looks like it's going to be a very, very nice space at home for you. Watch that third house so that you are making decisions that are solid and grounding and not saying something in your home zone that wrecks that harmony. You know what I'm saying? Now on the 27th, Mars takes its move into Sagittarius. So this lights up your income sector. So this is money. But for you, I really feel like this month, not only is it money, because you could be launching something out, um, moving in a different direction, or maybe you've got all this third house stuff going. Maybe you are teaching something and there's some kind of financial benefit from it. Um, but also, this is about value. What do you value? You're speaking a new value in the world. You're putting out a new value to the world. You're looking at value in your house. What do you value, right? All of these root level things become into beautiful question and then Mars gives you an opportunity to take action. Great time to hustle for some money. Great time to hustle if you wanted to bring some new possessions into your life. Just make sure you're making the decision based out of a um, solidly th thought through decisions. You're not just out there spending your money or do what you want. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're an adult, I hope. Now, when we get to the end of the month on the 31st, we've got the lunar eclipse happening in Leo. And for you, this hits the top of your chart. So we're talking career, career, reputation, soul level calling, right? Who you are and what you're giving to the world. Now, I just told you, you're going to launch something out. So maybe what you're launching out and keep in mind, it doesn't mean that you're launching out a book or a website or any of those things. You could just be presenting yourself out to the world differently and you start to become like a community helper or a teacher or a communicator or a helper, a mediator in some way that changes your status as well. Because this eclipse is a total. So we're going to blot out, right? It's a reset to our emotions. It's a reset and a course correct for us. So in your career, you could be making some kind of transition. And this is kind of that big, beautiful light that over the next six months to two years, depending on your chart, really gives you a nice course correct to see the direction you would like to go, how you would like to be known, and what you'd like to be doing in the world. So not a bad month at all. I look forward to seeing how this month plays out for each of you. Leave me a comment down below. I love checking in, seeing how you guys are doing. I do my best to respond and hopefully I'll get to be a little bit better about that in 2018 because there's some really positive changes coming for Stormy Grace that allow me to be a lot more available to you as well. So I look forward to it for me. I look forward to it for you, Scorpios. I look forward to also seeing you in $3 Thursdays, so click the description box down below and I will see you in the session. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and I will see you next month.